Praise the living Jesus. My name is Ariel Laure Lua, the prayer coordinator of this online prayer ministry, and this is Praying Eagles Network. Praying Eagles Network. Praying Eagles Network is an online prayer ministry where we fellowship together online to seek the face of the Almighty God in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ with the help of Holy Spirit. Coming live from Lagos State, Nigeria, I know that as you join us today, as we fellowship together, as we pray together, to seek the face of the Almighty God, the Lord will arise and intervene on that matter. According to Luke 21, verse 13, we say, He shall turn to you for a testimony. That matter, that marital matter, that financial matter, that emotional matter, that matter concerning your business, concerning your career, concerning your health, concerning your loved one, He shall turn to you today for a testimony in the name of Jesus. I pray for you, sir. I pray for you, ma. One more time. That that matter, this very day, the Lord will turn it to you for a testimony in the name of Jesus. So why not sit down, get ready for a defined encounter for a life transforming testimony. You are welcome, Jesus' name. God is good. I welcome every one of us as you are coming online. You are welcome to this very month edition. Today is the very first day of this month. Um, by the special grace of God, today we are having communion for fruitfulness. So I want to congratulate every one of you who are online Every one of you are listening to us. I'm saying congratulations to every one of you in the name of Jesus. I said congratulations to every one of you in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Can we all lift up our hand? All the fruitful mothers, all the fruitful fathers in the house. Can we all lift up our hand and let's appreciate our Lord, our God. For another beautiful day, another beautiful time in the presence of the Almighty God. You are online right now to break communion, to cry unto the living God, and to stand upon His word that you must be fruitful, be ye fruitful. And I know that in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, you shall be fruitful in the name of Jesus. I said, You shall be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Lift up a hand and appreciate God. Lift up a hand and bless His holy name. Celebrate Him. Appreciate Him. Give Him all the praise. Give Him all the honor. Let's appreciate God for your life. Let's appreciate God for your spouse, your husband, your wife. Let's appreciate God for every good thing which God has started. And I want you to appreciate Him ahead of time for that bouncing baby boy, for that bouncing baby girl, for that uh, twins, for that triplet. That are coming your way. Celebrate God. Appreciate Him. Appreciate Him. Appreciate Him. Give Him praise. Give Him honor. It's worthy to be praised. It's worthy to be praised. It's worthy to be praised. Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we are praying. In Jesus' name we are praying. Let us pray. Our Lord, our God, I want to say thank you for this wonderful day thank you for our life thank you for our home thank you for our marriage thank you for our business thank you for our career father i want to say thank you for all that you have been doing in us for us and through us thank you for all our family member thank you for your hand of love to you be all the glory to you be all the honor to you be all the adoration my lord my god as you come before you today i ask that the heaven open upon us in the name of jesus I ask that you look at you look down each and every one of us and you show us your mercy. Let your mercy prevail today in the name of Jesus. Concerning our fruitfulness, concerning the fruit of the womb, my Lord, my God, I ask that Father, let your mercy prevail in the name of Jesus. Let your mercy prevail in the name of Jesus. Let your mercy prevail in the name of Jesus. Let your mercy prevail in the name of Jesus. Let your mercy prevail in the name of Jesus. It is not of him that will it, it is not of him that run it, but it is of the Lord that God that showeth mercy. 
my Lord, my God, I ask that today that you show us mercy in the name of Jesus. That today, Father, you show us mercy in the name of Jesus. Today, my Lord, my God, show us mercy in the name of Jesus. Let your mercy prevail. 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 On the issue of fruitfulness, on the issue of shadbearing, my Lord, my God, I ask, we are not justifying our standing. We are not justifying that we must. It's a right. No, we are not justifying it. Father, but we stand upon your word, upon your covenant, the covenant of being fruitful. We stand upon it today. And my Lord, my God, I ask that Father, today, arise in your power, arise in your might, face each and every one of us, let the covenant of fruitfulness, the covenant of fruitfulness, the covenant of fruitfulness, let it speak for us in the name of Jesus. Let it speak for us in the name of Jesus. Let it speak for us in the name of Jesus. Let it speak for us in the name of Jesus. Let it speak for us in the name of Jesus. Let it speak for us in the name of Jesus. Today arise, O Lord, in your power. Today arise, O Lord, in your might. Face it each and every one of us. And let your name be glorified. In Jesus' name we are praying. Praise the Lord. Once again, I welcome every one of us who are online. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. Amen. My name is Ariola Orelua, the prayer coordinator of this online prayer ministry. And this is Praying Eagles Network. Praying Eagles Network. Coming live and direct from Lagos State, Nigeria. You are all welcome in the name of Jesus. By the grace of God, I have the mandate to bring the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ into our fearless home via our mobile phone. Amen. Your handset, your tablet, any of our internet medium. Amen. That is the mandate of God for this ministry. That through this ministry, God wants to visit us. God wants to enter into our home, into our marriage, into our business. God wants to attend to our matter. Amen. Many of us, we are in an environment, we are in a nation where or we do some work that is difficult for us to create time to go to church. There are some nations, they did not allow the name of Jesus Christ to reign. There are some nations, they did not allow brethren to fellowship, to come together, to fellowship together. There are some nations, they did not allow church to hold. Amen. And God wants to enter into those nations. God wants to visit us in those nations and do his wonders. Amen. And uh, that is why God is saying, though the enemy, the strong one may say no to bringing church. God wants to enter into your life. God wants to come into your life. He wants to come into your home through the medium. And what is that medium? The internet. So that is why I am here right away in your city room, right away in your home, right away in your office, wherever you are joining me from, I am there right away with you. And uh, by the grace of God, I bring you the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ this day. When God said we should start uh, this online ministration, one of the assignments, some of the assignments he gave us are we should be breaking communion every Friday by the grace of God. Uh, every Friday by the grace of God, communion for divine healing. And uh, we should be interceding for family, interceding for singles who are getting married. And he gave us a mandate every first three days of the month that we should be breaking communion for fruitfulness. To God be the glory, I testify to God's fruitfulness. God has really used the program to do a lot. But after some times, for two reasons, for two reasons, I stop the communion. I stop. It's, it was not God that asked me to stop, but I stopped for two reasons. Number one, the response. Then number two, I did not hear a word, go ahead or not go ahead. And because of that, I just felt within me that maybe I need to stop it. And um, 
you know, because of all other programs. So I stopped the communal. But last month, while I was waiting, while I was praying one day, and uh, I hear, be ye fruitful, June 1st, June 2nd, June 3rd, communal. Those are the three statements I had. Be ye fruitful, June 1st, June 2nd, June 3rd, communal. And I wrote it down. And I said, Holy Spirit, be ye fruitful, June 1st, June 2nd, June 3rd, communal. What are you saying? And the Holy Spirit said, on June 1st, June 2nd, June 3rd, you break communion for fruitfulness for those who are believing God for fruit of the womb. Amen. And that was why I announced it. It was after, a day, uh, like three days after it, that uh, I saw a flyer on uh, Facebook of the past communion for fruitfulness. And I laughed. Amen. They just, Facebook just brought it up as a reminder. And I said, wow. So God have helped us to run something like this before and people have testimony. Amen. So here we are again today for communion for fruitfulness. And I hear it. Be ye fruitful. Somebody say be ye fruitful. Somebody say, say be ye fruitful. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you shall be fruitful in the name of Jesus. I said you shall be fruitful in the name of Jesus. You shall be fruitful in the name of Jesus. If you can say it louder, amen. I decree, I declare into your life concerning the fruit of the womb. Be ye fruitful in the name of Jesus. 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 Praise the Lord. 1 Samuel 19, 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 19. 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 19. Please get your communal material ready. We are going to look at one or two scriptures. We are going to pray and we take the communion. Amen. So please get your communal material ready. Please, if your husband and your wife is around, please, can you, in the next 30 minutes, can you come together and let's agree together on this. You may disagree on all of that thing, but on this matter, on this matter, please, can we all come together and agree together that on this time, this time around, we shall be fruitful. Praise it the Lord. Amen. Are we there? First Samuel 1, verse 19, Genesis 30, verse 22. I want to give us the scripture that we are going to look at before we take the communion and we pray. First Samuel chapter 1 verse 19 genesis 30 verse 22 genesis 1 27 and 28 genesis 9 verse 1 verse 7 luke 22 verse 20 i tell them again first samuel chapter 1 verse 19 first samuel chapter 1 verse 19 Genesis 30, verse 22. Genesis 30, verse 22. Genesis 1, 27, 28. Genesis 1, 27, 28. Genesis 9, verse 1, verse 7. And Luke 22, verse 20. Luke 22, verse 20. Please put your right hand on your chest. Say this season, I shall be fruitful. Can you say it one more time? Say this season, I shall be fruitful. Can you say it one more time? Say this season, I shall be fruitful. Can you say it one more time? Say this season, I shall be fruitful. Can you say it one more time? Say this season, I shall be fruitful. I pray for you, sir. I pray for you, man. This season, as you have decreed and declared, the Lord God will make you to be fruitful this season in the name of Jesus. In 1 Samuel 1, verse 19. 1 Samuel 1, verse 19. What do we have there? 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 19. It was the story of uh, Anna. Anna was barren. Anna was waiting upon the Lord. But in verse 19, she encountered God. 
and what happened. And they arose up in the morning early and worshipped before the Lord and returned and came to their house to Ramah. And Elkanah, that is the husband, knew Anna, the wife. And the Lord remember her. The Lord remember her. The husband, the two of them, they, they, they had a counter with God. They returned back to their house. The husband met the wife. She knew the wife. And the Bible said, And the Lord remember her. Does that mean that God has forgotten her before? No. So why is it that the Bible says, And God remember her? Genesis 30, 22. Genesis 30, 22. Genesis 30, 22. After God remember Anna, she was pregnant and she gave birth to a child called Samuel. Genesis 30, verse 22. Verse 31, 21. And afterward, she bare a, da a daughter and called her name Dana. Verse 22. And God remember Rachel. And God asked to her and opened her womb. Verse 23. And she conceived and bear a son. And said, God has taken away my reproach. You that woman, you that man that you are believing God for fruit of the womb. Today, as God remember Rachel, open her womb and take away reproach of unfruitfulness from her. I pray for you, sir. I pray for you, man. The Lord will remember you today in the name of Jesus. When God remember Rachel, God opened her womb. She conceived. She had a son. And she said, God have removed reproach of unfruitfulness from me. You see the same statement there. And God remember Rachel. Does it mean before that time that God has forgotten her? No. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. Anytime you see a statement in the Bible that God remembered somebody, the meaning is God. The Bible is talking about God's covenant. God promise. God agreement. Should I take it again? And God remembered Anna. And God remember Rachel. What is the meaning? Does it mean that God has forgotten them before? No. God has not forgotten them. When God said, I remember you, it simply means he remember his promise over your life. It simply means he remember his covenant over your life. It simply means he remember his agreement. Agreement, covenant, promise, they simply mean the same thing. And what is that agreement? Genesis 1, 27, 28. Today, the Lord God will remember you in the name of Jesus. And what is God going to remember concerning you? Genesis 1, 27, 28. Genesis 1, 27, 28. So God created man in his own image. You are, created, you, are, you are created in the image of God. In the image of God created him, male and female, you and your husband, you and your wife. Verse 28. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, this is the promise of God. So when God remember you, it simply means God remember his promise. It simply means God remember his blessing upon you and this is the blessing and god said unto them this is the agreement of god offer your life be fruitful be fruitful and multiply and replenish and subdue it and have dominion genesis 9 verse 1 and verse 7 this is the promise of god over your life, over my life. And in the days of Noah, God destroyed the whole world. Everything, everything, every agreement. A new life 
started all over again. Genesis 9, 1 and 7. Genesis 9, 1 and 7. God have to come back again. Because everything in creation, God already destroyed them. So the which means every agreement, God destroyed them. So God threw up. And the Bible said, And God blessed Noah and his son, and said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth. Do you see? This is repetition of the first statement, of the first blessing. After God destroyed the whole world, God came unto them again, and God told them, Be fruitful, multiply, replenish the earth. Why will God have to come in, first, in chapter 9? Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. So that Satan will not use the event against you, against me. That, listen, everything in creation, everything on ground have been destroyed. So God has to come and reenact that promise. So every man, every woman, every child of God, they will be able to still hold on to that promise and say, Lord, this is your promise for my life. Be ye fruitful. And I stand upon that word that I shall be fruitful. So I pray for you, sir. I pray for you, man. This season, this season, you shall be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Somebody may be saying, Pastor, what you are quoting is Old Testament. Luke 22 verse 20 Luke 22 verse 20 and this is where we are going to stand today Luke 22 verse 20 Luke 22 verse 20 are we there I believe you have your communal material with you now Luke 22 verse 20 Thank you, Jesus. I open my to you. <laughs> yeah. Luke 22. Yes. Are we there? Luke 22, verse 20. Let's take it from... Uh, Verse 17. Fast. Let's take it fast from, from verse 15. And he said unto them, With desire, I have desired to eat with Passover with you before I suffer. For I say unto you, I will not any more eat thereof until it be fulfilled in the kingdom of God. And he took the cup. And he what? And he took the cup. Can you repeat it again? What happened? He took the cup and he gave thanks and said, Take this and divide it among yourselves. Take this and divide it among yourself. Take this and divide it among yourself. For I say unto you, I will not drink of the of the fruit of the fine. Until the kingdom of God shall come. That means, until the kingdom of God shall be established. And he took bread. Do you have the bread with you? And he took the bread. And he gave thanks. And he break it. And he gave it unto them, saying, This is my body, which is given to you, for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Verse 20. Likewise also, you know, if I 17, he took the cup. If I 20, likewise also, the cup after supper, saying, This cup, this blood in your hand, this cup that you are seeing, is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you. The cup is what? Is the cup of New Testament. There was an Old Testament, be ye fruitful in Genesis 1. 
In Genesis 8, everything was cancelled. In Genesis 9, God had to appear unto, most, unto Noah and establish it again. You and your children and every of your seed be useful for again. Whole testament pass away. Behold, we are all new. And in New Testament, Jesus Christ has to come and enact the same testament again. The same promise. In those days, when you want to enter into covenant with people, you must share the blood of animal. Or you shed your own blood and the blood of other person. That is why the occultic people, when they want to do covenant, they will take a cup. They will take a cup. They will take their own blood and put it inside. They will take the blood of the other person and put it inside. They will mix it together and the party will take it. Or they will take the blood of animal. They will break it and mix it together. So Jesus Christ said, this cup in your hand is the new testament, the new promise in my own blood. What is the meaning? There was a promise that you should be fruitful. There was a promise that you should be fruitful, that you should multiply and replenish the earth. That the world cannot sustain. But I have come to reignite it. But this time around, not with the blood of animal. The, the promise of God upon Abraham was enacted with the blood of animal. Do you remember when God asked him to bring animal, split them, bring it on top of the mountain, because I want to enter into covenant with you. But Jesus Christ said, this time around, a new covenant, I'm establishing it. Not with the blood of animal that will not sustain you, but with my own blood. I therefore today present to every one of you who are listening to me the blood of Jesus for you to be fruitful. The blood of Jesus. The blood of fruitfulness. The blood of multiplication. And I declare, I declare that as you are going to be partaker of this communion today, the Lord will remember you in the name of Jesus. You know, for God to remember you, it simply means God remember his promise over your life. I pray for you, sir. I pray for you, man. Concerning your fruitfulness, it shall end a praise in the name of Jesus. Concerning your fruitfulness, it shall turn to testimony in the name of Jesus. Concerning your fruitfulness, it shall end a praise in the name of Jesus. I said, it shall end a praise in the name of Jesus. It shall end a testimony in the name of Jesus. It shall end in praise in the name of Jesus. It shall end in testimony in the name of Jesus. It shall end in praise in the name of Jesus. Can you take that communion? If you are having your phone in your hand, please put it, put it down. I want you to hold the flesh in one hand and the blood in one hand. You are, going to, you are just going to take two or three prayers with them and you break it and go forth. And the next time I will hear from you is Pastor... I don't know how it's doing me. Praise it that Lord. You know where a woman is pregnant? She will tell the husband. She will tell the doctor. Doctor, I don't know how it's doing me. I'm not your husband, but I'm your spiritual pastor. The next statement, the next result, the next statement I'm going to receive from you will be, Pastor, I don't know how it's doing me. And then we ask you to go and run tests. And you come back, Pastor. I am pregnant. And in the next nine months, you will not know how, how it will be doing you. Because if the baby is kicking like this today, it will be kicking like this tomorrow. And in exactly nine months, you come back being a fruitful woman, being a fruitful husband, be a fruitful family in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Lift up that communion in your hand. Say, Father, thank you for this blood of Jesus and the flesh i give you praise i give you honor can you lift up your hand and celebrate god for that blood celebrate god for the common communion celebrate him appreciate him worship his holy name worship his holy name worship his holy name in jesus name lift it up and uh, the lord remember anna and the lord remember rachel 
lift up that blood. Say, O oh Lord my God, by the blood of Jesus, remember me today. Remember me today. Remember me today. By the blood of Jesus, the blood of covenant. By the blood of Jesus, the blood of promise. O oh Lord my God, remember me today. 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 You remember Anna. You open a womb. She conceived. Remember me today. In the name of Jesus. My Lord, my God. You remember Rachel. You, re you open a womb. She conceived. And she bear a son. Oh Lord, my God. Remember me today. By the blood of Jesus. The blood of covenant. The blood of agreement. The blood of promise. Remember me today. 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 Can you cry out to the living God? With that communion in your hand, that blood in your hand, that flesh in your hand, can you turn it to prayer? So, Lord, my God, remember me today. Remember me, O Lord. 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 Remember me today. By the blood of Jesus. Remember me, O Lord. By the blood of Jesus. Remember me, O Lord. By the blood of Jesus. Remember me, O Lord. By the blood of Jesus. Remember me, O Lord. By the blood of Jesus. Remember me, O Lord. By the blood of Jesus. Remember me, O Lord. By the blood of Jesus. Remember me, O Lord. By the blood of Jesus. Remember me, O Lord. By the blood of Jesus. Remember me, O Lord. Can you turn it to prayer? Ask the Lord God to remember you. In the name of Jesus. So Lord, remember me. By the blood of Jesus. Remember me, O Lord. 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 As the Lord to remember you. So Lord, remember me. Remember me, O Lord. By the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Genesis 21, verse 1. Genesis 21, verse 1, verse 2. Genesis 21, verse 1, verse 2. And the Lord visited King James Fashion. And the Lord visited Sarah, as he has said. And other version said, And the Lord remembered Sarah. King James Fashion said, The Lord visited. They use the word visited. The Lord visited Sarah as he has said. And the Lord said unto Sarah, and the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. What did God say? Genesis 17, verse 19. Genesis 17, verse 19. Genesis 17, verse 19. And God said, Sarah, thy wife, shall bear thee a son. Sarah, thy wife, shall bear thee a son. And thou shalt call his name Isaac. The meaning of Isaac is laughter. And I will establish my covenant. Do you see the word covenant there? And I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant. And with his seed after him. What is that covenant? What is that covenant? Verse 20. And for Ishmael, I have had the behold, I have blessed him. I will make him fruitful, and I will multiply him exceedingly. Do you see fruitfulness appearing? Us and us. Each time God, the Bible is talking about the promise of God, covenant of God. Do you see the word fruitfulness? The word fruitfulness. God said, Verse 21. But I will, but my covenant will I establish with Isaac. The covenant. And what is that covenant? Covenant of fruitfulness. And in 21, the Lord visited Sarah as he has said. The Lord did unto Sarah as he has spoken. Verse 2. For Sarah conceived. 
Another uh, translation say, and God remember, God remember, God remember Sarah as he have said, because I will visit you, and God remember her. Lift up that communion in your hand. Say, Oh Lord, my God, this season, remember me, Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Remember me for fruitfulness. Can you turn into prayer? As the Lord God to remember you this season. So Lord, remember me, O Lord, by the blood of Jesus, the blood of covenant, the blood of fruitfulness, the blood of joy, the blood of agreement. Remember me, O Lord. 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 In Jesus' name we are praying. And God visited Sarah. So Lord, my God, by the blood of Jesus, the blood of covenant, visit me, O Lord. Visit me for fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. Can you turn it to prayer? Say, by the blood of Jesus, the blood of fruitfulness, visit me, O Lord. Visit me, O Lord. Visit me, O Lord. Visit me, O Lord. Can you ask the Lord God to visit you? Let the Lord God visit you. So Lord, visit me. In the name of Jesus, visit me, O Lord. Visit me, O Lord. Ask the Lord God to visit you. In the name of Jesus, let God visit you. Let God visit you. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Now lift it up. Say by the blood of Jesus. So Lord, my God, remember me. Remember your covenant of fruitfulness upon my life. Say, I lift up the cup of blood. The blood of Jesus. The cup of new covenant. I lift it up today. Say I lift it up today. So Lord my God. Remember me. Remember your covenant. Upon my life. Say by the blood of Jesus. I shall be fruitful. This season. In the name of Jesus. So shall he be. In Jesus name. Lift it up. By the cup of. Lift it up. I want to pray with you. By the cup of new covenant that you are holding in your hand, the cup of the blood of Jesus, the cup of fruitfulness, I decree, I declare concerning you, concerning your womb, concerning your marriage, the Lord will remember you this season in the name of Jesus. The Lord will remember you this season in the name of Jesus. The Lord will visit you this season in the name of Jesus. The Lord will open your womb in the name of Jesus. You shall be fruitful. Your husband shall be fruitful. Your marriage shall be fruitful. Come this time next year. Come this time next year. Your Isaac, you will carry it in the name of Jesus. Your child, your son, your daughter, your triplet, your twins, you will carry them in the name of Jesus. There shall be joy in your home. There shall be joy in your marriage in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we are pray. Praise the Lord. Put the cup down. Now take the flesh. Break it into two. Now eat. Say I eat unto fruitfulness. Say I eat unto fruitfulness. Now eat the flesh. Now take the blood now. Say in the name of Jesus. Say I drink the blood of Jesus. Unto fruitfulness. Now drink. And as you are drinking, begin to speak to your womb. I drink unto fruitfulness. My son, my daughter, my twins, my triplet. Now drink unto fruitfulness in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Praise ye the Lord. Now one more thing. Put your right hand, put that cup down. Put your right hand, put it on your stomach, on your navel, where you have your na uh, middle body, your navel, put your hand on it. You don't need to put it inside clothes, don't worry, just put it on that place. Now prophesy upon yourself, say this season, by the covenant of fruitfulness, say I shall be fruitful. Can you declare and declare again? Say by the blood of Jesus, say I am fruitful, I am fruitful. Say, I will come back with my children. If it's a son, don't say children, no. If it's one, say, I will come back with a child. 
If you want twins, if you want triplet, say I will come back with my children in the name of Jesus. And if you want them, one, 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 hey, say I will come back with my children. But if it's only one that you want to receive, hey, amen, say I will come back with my child. Can you just prophesy upon your womb? Decree the kind of child you want. Decree and declare it. Prophesy upon your womb. Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. For in Jesus' name we are praying. For in Jesus' name we are praying. As you have partake of today's communion, I pray for you. The covenant of fruitfulness will speak for you in the name of Jesus. The covenant of life will speak for you in the name of Jesus. If the coming of the lottery come this time next year, you will come back with your bouncing children in the name of Jesus. The Lord will open your womb. The Lord will remember you. It will open your womb. You will conceive. And throughout the nine months of gestation period, no constipation, no attack, no manipulation, no mistake, no error in the name of Jesus. And at the time of giving, at the time of delivery, no error in the name of Jesus. You will dilate with ease. The anointing of the Hebrew woman shall rest upon you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. I want you to lift up your hand and appreciate God as you go. Let's not forget our monthly Fiji continue tonight. Uh, but by the grace of God, be you fruitful, continue tomorrow. It's going to be three days. If you know anybody who need to be online, who need to be part of this, please invite them tomorrow, 12 noon Nigeria time. Also, ask them to come with our communal material. Praise the Lord. Once again, as you go, let the Lord go by the blood of Jesus. Start the work of redemption, the work of fruitfulness, the word of testimony. Let the Lord God start the work in your life in Jesus' name. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Dear father, mother, uncle, auntie, married, single, boy, girl, man, woman, brother, sister, and friend. You and I will one day leave this world and our spirit will appear on the other side. Will you be allowed to enter heaven? The only way to enter heaven is to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and walk in righteousness. If you have not given your life to Jesus or you once did and you backslid it, you started living in sin, please say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I believe in my heart that you died for me and on the third day you rose again that I might be free from sin. Right now, I confess you as my Lord and personal Savior. Forgive me my sins and wash me with your blood. Make me your child and write my name in the book of life. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Sin and Satan has no more power over my life. In Jesus' mighty name, it's a new day. Amen and amen. God bless you.